reaction sweeping the country with the historic U.S. Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Celebration <laughs> and scorn. Some people saying mission accomplished after fighting the ruling for nearly a half century. This is amazing. This is probably the best day of American history in my lifetime. Others saying the work is only just beginning. If anybody thinks that this fight stops with this sad decision, they are out of their minds. Nearly 50 years after setting the precedent on abortion, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. You watched it live right here on Fox 35 when the news broke this morning. The precedent set by Roe v. Wade was struck down today in a 6-3 to three ruling. The new ruling found that Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy was constitutional. And that decision changed everything and now sends the issue of abortion rights back to the states. Some states immediately outlawed abortions, while 16 other states will still allow abortions in some manner. And this ruling will not affect that. The president says the U.S. Supreme Court ripped away a right that the American people already recognized. They didn't limit it. They simply took it away. That's never been done to a right so important to so many Americans. But they the president says he hopes this ruling will encourage more voters to head to the polls in November for the midterm elections. But some people are not waiting until November to act. Fox 35's Randy Heldreth is live at a protest in downtown Orlando. So, Randy, emotions running high today. And that's exactly right. The doors at this protest opened within the last five or six minutes or so. I'm right by the door, so I've seen people come in. Representative Ana Escamani is on the stage right now talking to those who have arrived. Just scanning the crowd, I would say that there are about 20 or 30 people here uh, who have come to participate with this demonstration, in addition to a couple dozen people who are helping facilitate this demonstration. Now, I've seen people come in with their own signs, but some are being handed signs like this, bans off our bodies, and then abortion is health care. Now, we talked about demonstrations across the country. This isn't the only one that happened in Florida today. Court has failed us. Planned Parenthood representatives set up in Jacksonville, Miami, and Tampa today. Each news conference blasted the Supreme Court and the justice's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Abortion bans strip us of our freedom to control our own bodies. The six to three ruling hands the power back over to each state to determine abortion access. Governor Ron DeSantis tweeted in part, quote, the prayers of millions have been answered. But Democrats like Representative Ana Escamani point to data that shows many may not feel that sentiment. We must remember that Floridians overwhelmingly support access to a safe and legal abortion. In fact, majority of Americans do. A survey by Florida Atlantic University found 67% of respondents, including most Republicans, believe abortion should be legal in most or all cases. Some state lawmakers say the fight will continue by way of voting. This is not a time to shrink or sh surrender, and the antidote to despair is action. And a lot of people may have questions now with this Supreme Court ruling. What does it mean for people who live in Florida? The answer to that question coming up at 6. Live in Orlando, Randy Holdreth, Fox 35 News. Like we pointed out numerous times today, the ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court simply means that the abortion question now rests in the hands of the 50 states. So we're going to go through some maps breaking down exactly what this means state by state. First of all, this first map, at least 13 states have what are known as trigger laws. That's according to the Guttmacher Institute, which is a pro-abortion rights research group. So these 13 states in the brighter green right here, that means abortion bans in these states would go into effect immediately or within the next. 30 days. In fact, Missouri right here in the middle signed a bill into law just minutes after the court's decision was announced. Your next map, five more states here all highlighted, including left leaning Wisconsin up north, already have an abortion ban in place before Roe versus Wade back in 1973. Now those laws in those five states go back into effect. 
Next map here, Georgia, Iowa, Ohio, and South Carolina all have laws banning abortions after six weeks. They've all been ruled unconstitutional, but those laws will now have to be revisited because of today's decision. And finally, where Florida comes in here, four more states, including the state of Florida, could further restrict abortions. Here in the Sunshine State, a new law banning most abortions after 15 weeks goes into effect next Friday. So at that point, abortions will still be legal in Florida up until 15 weeks of pregnancy.